Well, another travel day. I'm headed, let's see, it is Wednesday, October 12th. I'm waiting for, oh, the car just arrived to pick me up. So, it's more bags, more planes, more cars, actually a train involved. So, I will report. You see something, Molly? <laughs> Molly, you see something? Yeah, I know. That means Daddy's going bye-bye, right? Yeah. I know. I'm sorry. Well, it's hard to leave. I got the same thing for my kids this morning. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to hit the road. Here's the place. It's not too bad. Looks like the owner is a little neurotic though. Notes everywhere. <sighs> no toilet paper, no internet access, none of the stuff, the little things that uh, bed and breakfasts normally have. Bed is horrible. Yeah, and I'm not allowed to turn on the air conditioner or the heater. I have to leave it as is. There's a whole laundry list of rules, um, and the place is kind of a mess. <sighs> okay. Looks like I'm staying with my friend in his mansion. Twist my arm, huh? <sighs> so, this is the place I was supposed to stay. It's not going to work out. It's a nice little place. It's just that it's kind of, it's not put together like most bed and breakfasts that I'm used to. And all these rules are just little nuts. No internet access means I can't work. So I guess I will be heading to work and then figure out where I'm going to stay after that. Today is, well, what is today? That's what today is. All right. One more time before we start, okay? We gotta get going here. Okay, I heard that. And you know, I have a cough that gets really ignited in here in particular. So what'll happen is you might be in the middle of a brilliant thought, but you'll see me going, mm -hmm. and then when I put my finger up, it means I'm gonna start coughing right now. So wrap your thought up, at, or just stop it, and we'll pick it up from the top of the thought. But that means I'm gonna cough. <laughs> like that. So Regina, we're filming this for Corey's blog, yeah. and uh, a lot of people probably don't know who you are. So, tell us what you do, and and what what are you doing with Corey today? I'm Regina Meredith, the host of the Open Mind Show. Been doing this kind of interview format for about a dozen years, formerly the Conscious Media Network, and I'm here with Corey, and we're looking at uh, the beauty of the human species and how we should see ourselves, even if others don't. And it's been a really fun conversation, and, and not only that, enlightening and empowering, because uh, we've tended to diminish ourselves as human beings. And Corey talks about how the being needs to get off its knees and and start expressing our true sovereignty in the world again. Can can we actually see what you write here, or is this too personal? It's not personal, but you won't be okay, able to read it. Let's okay. just take a look at what. Yeah, we've this got is here. what happens. We go tangential, and the story takes a different so turn. I see Prime Creator. Yeah. Antarctica. Who is? Who is the dominant species? Something like that. Yeah, you'll see all kinds of little notes. High vibrational art. See, oh, now that's that. never happened before. We've <laughs> yeah. never had the opportunity. To, see to my actually look over notes. your shoulder. <laughs> Great. Does this crystal actually like feed you some it kind of to consciousness? It seems feed everybody a little bit of something. Everybody can take that energy and use it in their own way. 
And you have a lot of uh, interfaith religious symbols here. You got the yeah. dancing Shiva. You got the yeah. Buddha. Okay, we're still rolling. We need to get this done. Okay. Then you can do this. Yeah, he's waiting. To, we're waiting for him to come out of the bathroom. So. She has a clothes to do, and then they okay. can cut the camera, and then we could. All right, well, let's, let's watch we yes. and find out what happens. All right. Okay, we need, if I'm, if I, am I doing the promo or the close? The, the promo. promo. The promo, okay. Yes. Um, okay, all right. Hi, I'm Regina Meredith. And, and this dish, hi, I'm Regina Meredith. In this episode of Open Minds, I'm talking with Corey Good, and we're looking at the human species in a new way, through the eyes of other species, and having them reflect back the beauty of what we have to offer the universe and how we can take our sovereignty back. Join me. I think the greatest hope for humankind is humanity. Mm -hmm. And right now, there's such an awakening of humanity yeah. that, yeah. Yeah, that's everything. Because it's got to happen all in here. Right, exactly. Yeah, that's how I view it. And this, this particular story that I was mentioning at the beginning, that I talk about, you know, doing a couple more lectures this month on it, really sets it up in a way that it dovetails nicely with a lot of what you're being told as well. Mm -hmm. And the just, um, the incredible sadness at what happened when the, the animal portion of the mind, can, in, can, in collusion with some of this other stuff going on, won out over this beautiful, beautiful aspect of ourselves that can really create any given wish. I mean, this could be paradise. Yeah. 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 That's our potential. Yes, it is our potential. Yeah. Have you seen your letters? They've been able to get to that point. Like, it will be in our view of yeah. paradise. Mm -hmm. of the yeah, yeah Nicus people are there. Yeah. They've yeah. been there for. Generation. Yeah. And how, how did they see themselves as interfacing if they could? It, they, after we get to the point where we've uh, removed our control system, mm -hmm. they want to come in and help us recover mm -hmm. because they had gone through a similar process. Mm -hmm. They stated that their, their problems are not as big. Right. Or as big as ours, but there are right. enough similarities where they would be able to come in and. Uh, you know, be assistant, be an assistance with advice. Okay. Did they have to beat back the whole AI, you know, demon? They did. Yep. Did they let it progress for a while there first? Yep. Oh, okay. So it's what happened? very, very similar to what happened here. Uh -huh. They had the Draco component yeah. and the AI component yeah. that ruled their system for a while, and then they went to it through a process of uh, um, getting rid of the AI, mm -hmm. the Draco, yeah. and going through this huge consciousness renaissance. Mm -hmm. That's you know they're well in their consciousness yeah. right now. Do they do they show some more signs of creativity or what, what would be exemplified their forms of creativity? They uh, they don't have a military anymore. Mm -hmm. no. Wonderful. They um, <clears throat> they all focus on they focus on art and consciousness yeah. and creativity. Yeah, that seems to me that's a really key component. Are they a monetary based system or no. are they total energy, just energy expended I and don't, contribution? Yeah, they they don't use any sis, any planet that has a monetary system is a basically a prison planet. Yeah. yeah a a controlled planet. Yeah, yeah. Uh, half that time I had to go to the bathroom bad. Oh, that's terrible. Mm. But that helped kind of keep you present. And yeah. Yeah, I was just in, I was talking really Ready to fast. answer. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was going for the one word answers. Yes. Did it sound no. okay? Content and all that? Mm -hmm. Was it good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Done, guys. Love it. Thank you. Yeah. Are we done yet? Golly. Thanks for coming. Here you go. <laughs> He's being paid right on site. <laughs> One dollar, dollar per episode. I worked in. This is how I make my money, people. Dollar per episode. Where Walter, the unit manager, would have hundred dollar bills in his pocket. How much you need for the next few days? <laughs> oh my lord! That was in BC. They had the money then. <laughs> hey, Corey. Yes, it's good to finally be able to get on the show. Yeah, we tried. Yeah. yeah, this is good. Okay, guys, we'll have fun on your show. Thank you're, you. You're recording. Are you recording Cosmic Disclosure next, next week? week? Mm -hmm. And you're recording with Sean Stone next week? Yep. Okay, you're busy. It's all guy. happening. Okay, oh, wow. bye. Thanks. They're, they're, they're dual use. They're, um, 
relaying data from your phone call. But they're also, that technology is, there are piggyback waves that are in there that control, that are mind control. And this is a part of this huge grid that goes across the planet that they use. So the fact that I live up in the mountains and there's hardly any cell phone reception at my house whatsoever is probably good for me. Would you say so? Yeah, if, if you're away from cell reception, away from Wi-Fi, any of these different frequencies that can be messed with to uh, interact with your consciousness, then yeah, you're better off. Do you think that somebody who lives in an urban area as opposed to a rural area, just by the number of Wi-Fi transmitters that are going to be around them, are going to be a lot more affected by all this stuff? Absolutely. And you can see that in the behavior of people. You know, you can, you can say people act like idiots in the city because they're just piled up on each other. But there's more to it than that. They have all this technology around them to where they're getting hit with all these waves. Now, if you're out in a rural area, it's going to be, you know, a lot less. Um, exposure. Now one of the most audacious things that probably people who, if they're watching this for the first time, they haven't seen the show before, might have really balked at, is where Tompkins very confidently disses every type of science we have, and I forget his exact wording, but he called it garbage or something like that. Yeah. It's a very hard thing for people to people who are not familiar with what we're talking about, to accept him making such a bold statement as that. What do you feel is the reason behind that statement? How, how could that statement possibly be true? I mean, it seems like science, we've figured out a lot of things. We've nailed a lot of things down. We've got some pretty good gadgets. We, we can travel. Why do you think he would have said that? Well, because every science, every science you can think of, even archaeology, physics, Medicine, all of these people are, it's, it's like the dark ages. So, Corey, what do you think about this? What's your initial thoughts after seeing this clip? Very interesting. Um, what I have found out more recently is that they do drop gas, they being the Draco, do drop gas on technologically evolving areas, but they also monitor each city, county, whatever, and if a certain amount of people are starting to wake up, they will go and drop mind control gas on you. It's more of a throwing bleach on a situation. Are you, I, I think I'm hearing you say this, that they would increase the gas if more people start to wake up in a given area? Yes, they, they have, not, not only do they use gas, but for the most part they use a technology that since uh, that, that puts out a field that controls our minds. You know, you've seen people be hypnotized, and they'll say that they'll be told, "Okay, this your wife is invisible. You can no longer see her." And then your wife will walk between you and another thing, and you don't see the wife. You see through the wife, and you see what's behind it. Right. If you start to awaken to the things that this computer is programmed for you not to think about that it will create things like nervousness, extreme exhaustion, tiredness, uh, anything that it can do to try to divert your mind off of the topic. Are you aware of anything AI related like that? Not specifically, but it makes total sense. If the Draco or AI prophets, if they report up to artificial intelligence, and all the information I give on artificial intelligence about how it's controlling the planet. That, I mean, that, that's not a huge leap at all. Now, we're looking at a ship in this photograph that William holds up, and there seems to be other ships like that in the sky. First of all, he's mentioning a cloaking technique, and it's not really clear if the technique is simply something that we can't see it because we're mind controlled not to see the ship? Or is it that it actually bends light around the object? I wasn't really clear. Both. You think it's both? Both. It is both. Yes, there's the component that I talked about, the, the hypnotism reference I gave. Right. To where they put out a field to where they don't want you to see certain things. You just don't see them. And, I mean, you could have your dog to be next to you going, you know, what the heck is that? And you don't see it. Mm. It's, you know, it's set to our to the waves of how our mind works. 
you know, like alpha, data, delta, theta, theta rates. So they're manipulating you on that level. And I say you, I mean us, because usually when you hear uh, humans are mind controlled, just like he said, people sit back, my mind's not being controlled. That must be other people. I'm too far advanced. You know, I, I have special beings that I talk to. It's just impossible. But the fact is, all of us, you, me, people at home, we're all mind controlled to, to a certain degree. Hello, today I am staying with a friend of mine, Ventino Massaro. He invited me to stay at his house with him, and uh, it's a very beautiful place. And many of you may know Ben. He works in the field. You do motivational speaking, and uh, what, what all do you do? Um, I teach self-realization and self-actualization, so um, helping people realize that they are the unchanging nature of consciousness itself, so that they feel the stability in their lives and clarity and peace. And then self-actualization, which has a lot to do with uh, transforming limiting beliefs so that we can empower ourselves in everyday life to be the unique individual that we are. Cool. Cool. Sort of the, the synthesis of uh, self-transcendence and self-empowerment. Right. You do a lot of uh, public speaking, and you also put out videos as well, right? Um, yeah, I've got an online school that's completely free of charge, Terrinfinity Academy. Um, and I, I give speaking. I, I speak. I do events and right. retreats and stuff, yeah. Cool. And lots of videos. Cool. What's, yeah. uh, the website is Trinfinity? Yeah, TrinfinityAcademy.com. Yeah, well, I appreciate you inviting me to stay here. It's beautiful. It's so nice to have you here. Yeah, it's just gorgeous. And uh, I think that maybe we're being led to work together in the future on a few projects. Feels like that. It feels, feels like, like it. That. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But uh, I'm going to give everybody a look at your view that you suffer with every day. 